Hello, welcome to another one of my Circuit V2 tutorials. Today we're going to go over the if chip and the if expression. Now right off the bat, I'm gonna say uh, these two act similar. They only use one, one path, considering the condition here. So, in short, if this is true, the top one gets activated. If this is false, the bottom get the bottom one gets activated. So, same with the if expression. If this is true, it'll use whatever it'll output here, right? A value that is stored under this one. But if it's false, then it'll it'll basically use this volume value in there and just output it. So, basically for activation and for values. So now I'm gonna show these two in action. Spawn in simple button V2. Then spawn in our trusty two string, which is here. And our show notification. I'm gonna spawn in two because we're gonna need one another one or uh, basically we're gonna need it now, let's say. So we are gonna hook our button up to the if, so we're just gonna activate it. If the condition here will be true, it'll activate the top one, but it'll be false, it'll activate the bottom one. The two string is not needed, but let's use it anyway. We're gonna basically hook up the identifier to the two string and set it to the first one, and the second one is just gonna be I. So in short, if it's true, Right? If the condition will be true, then it'll activate the top one and it'll activate the show notification, the top one. The top show notification will tell us the, basically the quote unquote ID or whatever you want to call it of the button. But if it'll be false, then it'll just do the, the, the bottom one and just say hi. So let's start with the bottom one. Click it. It says hi. This is false. So it activated the bottom one. But now if we click once on it, we turn it into true, push it, there you go, sandbox button CV2, source node 312, echo physical button, yeah, that's basic what the button's called. So this is, like, use of the if chip, explained as fast, and technically as simple as I, as it gets, right? This is for activation, if you want to do it like that. But if you want to go a bit more compact with less chips, then we will use the if expression, which means that we can delete the show notification there and basically made whatever we made first time with the if chip, the two string, the two show notifications, which is the show notification, if expression, and the show uh, the sh two string, if expression, and show notification. So. Again, let me let me let me tell you again. So if this is true, then it'll take this value on, ooh, that is hooked up under the then pin, copy it over to result and output it. But if it's false, then it'll use this, copy it over here and output it. So if it'll be true, then it'll display again that long text that we get from here. But if it's false, then it's gonna say hi again. And then whatever the result is goes to the show notification and we activate it with our button. We click it. It's, it says hi. Why does it say hi? Because this is false, which means that it took this value, copied it in here, and output it. But press once on this, turn it into true. Click the button. We took whatever this is, turn it into text, right? And the value is now in here. It took this value because it's, it, it, this is true, copied in here, and output. There you go. That's basically a fast explanation of the if and if expressions. Hope it, it was clear enough for you. If you have any questions, comment down below. If you want more of a direct talk, go over to my Discord server for my CV2 class, BOC. Ask me anything about circuits and I'll try to answer, them, answer the questions as best as I can.